Hey guys, I'm back with the next part of our Blazing Blog app using Blazor server. So, <clears throat> before continuing on this video, I would recommend you guys to check out all the previous parts of this series. I'm going to drop the links of all those parts in the description box. So please do check those out before continuing on this one. Okay. So in our previous video, we worked on showing the posts on this home page and this category box so category wise posts and then these posts next thing what do we need to do okay we have one bug here so if we now we are on this blazer server advanced and if we go to home page content is changing but this heading does not change so let's fix this and after this we'll work on detail page the blogs detail page so first let's fix this uh, heading part so for this what we can do we have this set data async method and we were using this thing in if we have category slug in this case we don't have category slug so we'll simply reset our heading to the initial text save and it should work let's see it so this is home page category page and if we go to home page we can see this okay this is fixed now let's work on detail page right now we have this dummy url we don't have anything fine so first thing we need to have one page for this so in pages folder we'll create a new razor component and let's call it blog details page and we need to have page attribute because this is routable component and here we'll say uh, let's say post and then we'll have the slug of blog post url right this blog post url basically and if we are using this slug we need to have one property here which will be the slug and this should be parameter fine now let's add this url to our blog post where is the blog post company blog post list without razor this thing so this url we need to make it dynamic so let's have one more variable here blog details url or detail page url detail page url and we'll set it here and this slug it should be from this post so we'll post say post dot slug this is detail page url and we'll change this to this detail page url save it and if we run it we can see this url navigating user to the the detail page click on it and now we are on detail page and block details we can see this text as well uh, the, that means the linking is working now let's fetch the you uh, fetch the block details let me pin it and find so here first we'll have a private blog post uh, post and here we'll first have default or let's have it null so we'll have it nullable this is because what if we have uh, some invalid url so for that we'll use this this thing So we'll override on initialized async and in here we'll check if we have some value in the slug. So if not string dot is null or white space slug that means we have some value in the slug. Then we'll fetch the sl this uh, blog from the database. So we'll say db blog and we need to inject 
blog post service inject blog post service blog post service and in this blog post service let's add one more method to get the blog detail okay we have this get post async right but this is for uh, admin for editing a post right so let me add one more method here so we'll say public async task of blog post null label get post by plug okay and here we'll say we'll expect a parameter of type slug of type string and here we'll say await context dot blog post dot as no tracking then dot to where we will use only the published one because we know that this should be published one it is published and bp dot slug equals to slug and then we'll have alt or rather we can change this where to direct first or default async fine so get post by slug async cool let's go here and on this blog post service we'll fetch this get this thing and we'll pass the slug to it now we could have this db blog as null now if that's the case we will display uh, something not found or something like that so let's have okay let's have it not in a label and let's have one more private bool variable we'll say not found which is false by default and in this case we'll set it to true not found true Mm -hmm. and if that's not the case then we know it so the post will be this db blog so now we have this thing cool now we need to design this page fine let's design this so we'll start with the same design we have on index so let me copy these two things come here do this and here we'll say the post dot title then this heading We for now let's have it as post dot title and only and after this if and else right so we don't need this else and we don't need this if also so if we'll add the thing here and now categories here we need the same categories thing here as well so we for now let's have it like this only we'll try to move it to a separate component so we have categories list now we need to fetch the categories list in on initialized async and we need to inject this category service fine so categories is this now in this first section we'll have our complete design so for that what we'll do h1 right let's do one thing let's have if condition here not found not found if not found is true let's accept it if not found is true do something if that's not the case do something right so if not found then what we'll do we'll follow the same 
thing we were following here in this case right this thing so let's add this thing here here we'll say no block push no no let's say not from the rest and here from here create a new blog post or we can say hmm okay let's do one thing let's not have this authorized here we'll simply have one nav link which will navigate back to the main page and here we'll say click here to see the latest blog post okay and if that's not the case then we'll work on our actual design when we have the blog post okay. first let's try to run it let's see how it looks we have it here if we go to this we can see the heading if we add some random url some wrong url then we can see not found click here to see the latest blog post if we click on it it will navigate us back to the home page fine now we'll work on the design First thing we'll have some uh, that randomized color here on this uh, H1. So after this F S3, let's make it F S1 because we need it bold. And then on this H1, we'll have that background color. So B G, and then the same thing that random color. So we'll say utilities dot get random color class and we'll use this bg color fine save it let's see it okay now we'll add some other classes as well first we'll do text white okay after that we'll have some padding okay this is already in center so we don't need to do anything else let's uh, have rounded corners as well rounded so this is fine now okay if we refresh it the color will be changed it will be some random color fine after this h r then we'll have hmm, the same small tag and here we'll have those same label two labels right let's copy that thing from blog post list this type or both of these things stop what is the issue okay category post link and category title category post links and category title copy these two as well and have this here save let's move this hr after this introduction and now let's have the main content okay and here we'll display our blog dot sorry post dot content 
and this is HTML content we need to display it as HTML so for that we convert this to markup string and now it will be displayed as HTML here let's run and see okay let's see some detail page and we have some exception category name because when we are patching the blog post by this thing we need to include the category dot include category fine rerun detail page and again object reference not set to instance of an object what happened maybe it did not pick the new thing get post by slug is in the right right let's run okay again issue what is the issue what am i missing let's see on blog details page this is in else but categories let's add the breakpoint here and then here okay let's continue we are on initialized async we came here we came here and now we should have post ready no not found is not true not found will be true only in this case oh my bad when this await hit at that time uh, the control actually moves back to render the html and this time blog post this has default value but the not found it has false it is false it is not true so it come here it try to render this thing but this is kind of loading uh, section this is loading screen. so let's stop it and let's have one more condition here we'll say if post is not no, then we need to do this and the else part will be for loading screen which we are not having right now we could have ideally so we can have here something loading or fetching block post something like this let's run it and we don't need these debugger breakpoints so disable all fine and we have this and again we miss something this time it is not null do we have post null no okay have it null the default is null or no no let's change this condition so we'll do this post dot id is greater than zero then do this save and continue okay page is here and now we can see the data go back see some other data add some invalid url see latest post come here javascript entity framework blazor server detail page and from detail page we can click on this and we can go back to this category post page fine okay cool so i think everything is working the only thing 
we are duplicating this content this section the categories on this home page and on the this detail page we are duplicating this content so let's move this content to a separate component so what we'll do in our components folder we'll create another razor component and let's say categories box okay and for this categories box we'll simply copy this section from h3 to this u right categories box remove this and we'll have this thing same thing we'll do on this detail page we'll simply comment this out for now and we'll use that categories box at both the places save now on this category box we need to have these categories and we need to get these categories we need to fetch these categories for that we need to inject our category service so inject category service we'll say category service category service and for this let's go to again on initialized override on initialized async and here we'll get value for this category so let's get it from some of its parents so categories move out of this and then we'll do this thing here we'll load the categories override async and task fine now we can render these categories do we need anything else or we are good with this let's see save everything and from here we can remove this thing now we can remove this on index we can remove these categories and now we'll have one issue for this category name right okay we'll do this in a bit till then let's use category slug only category slug first we'll see if things are working then we'll work on having this thing run it should uh, look and behave same category box we can see it here go to details page we can see it here and on the this thing also working same working as expected right as is, it was working earlier find home page from here also it is working home page then detail page and from detail also it is working mm -hmm. fine everything works fine so we just need to have this thing dynamic now so for that we somehow need to get the category name from this box right so we can we need to pass data from child component to parent component so in order to do that we need to have one property we, basically we need to propagate one event so we'll say prop event callback event callback and we'll say we'll pass category name back and we'll say it's something all category name set or all, all category name found 
something like this. <coughs> hmm. So what we'll do on category name found, we'll set that thing. Should we do this after this thing? Uh, it will work only for the first case, not after that. Hmm. First, we need to have get the category name. So let's have a private uh, async task. Let's say set category name async. Okay. And here, first, we'll get the category. Okay, the category name, we need to get it on the basis of slug. So for that, first we need to add parameter on this and let's expect one parameter of type string. String. Hmm. In the label string basically, category slug. And this will also be a parameter. And here, first thing we'll check if we have this category slug this null or white space if we have category slug then we'll fetch the category name like this from categories collection after that we will notify the parent by invoking this event invocating and we need to pass the category name from it. category name and await and this set category name is sync we will call it after setting the categories await fine now let's go to its parent and we need to do this only for blog uh, this index page right Yes, because on index page only we are setting the uh, heading. So here category box first we'll pass the category slug as category slug. And then on category name found. Here we'll say let's say uh, what we can do we can say private async task set heading set heading or category name set category name set heading only set category name heading i don't know what i'm doing but it will expect one parameter category name and We'll use that method here, set category name heading. And when we got that, we'll simply move this condition out of here to here. So that means not set category name heading, it should just be set heading and it should be in a label. Set heading and let's call it set heading and after the set data as async for the first case it will be heading and after that set data async set data async okay okay let's right now have like this only we'll see what else needs to be done private void set heading if category slug is not then we'll use this category name category slug is not this and not string dot is null or white space category name then we'll do this latest category name post and latest post okay 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 stop save and run it should work okay we have it here everything looks fine sql server and this thing is not modifying and if we are on this okay if we are refreshing the page 
with something then it is getting this but if we change it so it's the same case we were facing earlier from here it will work so we are on detail page and let's say blazor server advanced then we can see it because now we are changing the page the point here is this categories box on this categories box we are calling this await set categories name is sync from on initialized and it is already initialized on the page index page then we are simply changing the url so it is not calling this on initialized again so for this what we need to do we need to follow the same approach by overriding on parameter set async on parameter set async now we'll simply move this thing to here patching categories is fine mm -hmm. now we need to have one way so for this categories we have this check that means it will be fast only one but if we miss this so this on cat on parameter citation basically this condition is same as on initialized because categories will be initialized already then this method is not going to be called but we need this method to be called now in this case in current situation after if we have this now there is one problem this on parameter set async it gets called so many times for any of the parameter change any re-rendering it works so we somehow need to check if actually uh, we need to actually call this or not and that we can get if we are clicking or if, if we are changing the category slug so for that we need to keep track of what previous selected slug was so we can say private string this will be null label we'll say previous slug okay and the previous slug after setting this category we'll check if previous slug is not equals to category slug then only we'll invoke this then only we need to have uh, we need to indicate the parent that category slug is, has changed if that's not the case we'll simply not not else but we'll simply set the current category slug to this previous slug i think everything is in place now mm -hmm. let's stop and run it everything should work fine now okay we are on home page and we cannot see any category and that's because on home page we do not have anything now we can see but on home page the category slug was not there so nothing got called so we need to change this or we need to initialize the data in on initialized async function. This is fine. Now there could be one case when this does not get called first and we got here. In that case, the set category name async that will not be there. So for this, what we can do, we can check if previous slug is not equals to current slug. and if we already have categories loaded okay we, we can have this here and here at both the places right whatever method is getting called first or whatever get missed we don't have any problem in either case right okay one thing we can do we can simply have a private helper method private is saying task we can say load categories is sync and we can move this thing here so from on initialized async 
we'll simply call this await load categories async and same thing from here this method automatically checks if it has already loaded the categories or not save everything Randy. looks like we have some exception here what is that console second operation started on the context instance before what is this current or is this old one let's refresh what does it mean this is usually caused by the different threads concurrenting using the same instance of db context we have that but category service okay so it happened both of these things this load category is async it is getting executed from both the places at the same time so it came here it started this operation and then it returned to on parameter set async from here also this operation was not successful so categories dot any was not completed so it started it again okay so what we should do we should add one more condition here so from on initialized we load the categories and we load these categories from here should we load or no i think we don't need to load this because we already have the categories loaded save stop and run okay we can see the categories we can move around things are working and we can see this changing url changing and the content as well changing blazor blazor web assembly vue.js let's go to the detail page and from detail page also we can change these fine so everything looks working manage blocks manage categories about section there is nothing on about section so let's have some dummy text on about where is about we don't have that about page right so let's create one razor component about and we'll add the page directive about and then we'll simply first thing we'll set the page title which about us blazing blog after that let's have div class container let's say margin from top and bottom uh, five and in this we'll have one heading let's say about us and then some simple text this is a simple blog app blog web app built using blazor server with dotnet 7 by a patterns save and run okay about we can see this nice text home category wise blog post home page detail page manage categories add new category edit existing category manage blog post 
add a new blog post edit a new blog post and everything seems to be working as we envisioned okay so with this we are done with this app please do let me know in the comments uh, did you like this series or no and what were your takeaways of this series did you learn something new or any feedback so please do provide some feedback in the comment box and please like this video if you like my content share this video subscribe my channel and i'll be back with some new project till then bye bye